Alfred Nobel Alfred Nobel was born in a seaside village in Stockholm, Sweden. His dad was a blueprint planner for houses and bridges. When Alfred was four years old, his dad left the family to go to Russia. His dad had a dream of being an inventor. Alfred had two older brothers, and it was very hard to live without their dad. After a few years had passed, Alfred's dad invented the torpedo. He earned lots of money and used it to bring his family to Russia. Alfred's dad did everything for his children. He even brought a tutor to the house. When they finished their work, they went to their dad's factory. There, their dad explained everything to them. Meanwhile, Alfred's youngest brother, Emil, was born. One day, an army commander and soldiers visited the factory to see the torpedoes. Alfred's dad showed them how they worked. Impressed with the torpedoes, they ordered many torpedoes from Alfred's dad. Alfred was full of curiosity, like his dad. He rolled papers with gunpowder and tried to ignite them. His dad scolded him, saying that it was dangerous and that he could have hurt himself. However, Alfred wanted to find out more about gunpowder, so he read books secretly. Soon, Alfred moved to America with help from his dad's friend. After Alfred left for America, the Crimean War broke out in Europe. His dad became very busy filling orders for cannons and armaments. Alfred came back to Russia to help his dad. After Russia lost the war, there was no need to make arms any longer. Alfred's dad's factory was destroyed by a fire, so their family suffered massive debt. Alfred's parents decided to take Emil back to Sweden, while Alfred and his two brothers were left in Russia. Alfred and his brothers got jobs at a factory. The oldest brother did planning for construction. The second brother and Alfred worked as engineers. When Alfred finished his work, he worked as an inventor. Soon, the second brother opened a factory. Also, Alfred invented new explosive gunpowder. He got a patent for his gunpowder from the Swedish government and other countries. Alfred wished his gunpowder would be used for something good, not for a war. Alfred wanted to open a factory, but he didn't have any money. He decided to go to Paris and met rich bankers. Although he explained his gunpowder, they were not convinced it was a good investment. Then. The French king heard about Alfred and ordered him to visit his palace. The king was interested in science, so he gave Alfred money to build a factory. Alfred's gunpowder was very powerful and exploded easily. One day, 
Emil dropped gunpowder by mistake, and he died. The French government told Alfred to shut down his factory. Then, a rich mine owner, Schmidt, offered Alfred some help. In 1864, a factory for his gunpowder, which was called nitroglycerin, was built in Stockholm. They got many orders, and Alfred became rich. Eventually, he opened another factory in Germany under his name. However, there was another explosion in 1866. And many other accidents followed. Therefore, people began to criticize his company. Also, nitroglycerin was banned. I will try harder to make safe gunpowder. However, liquid gunpowder exploded when it turned into 180 degrees Celsius. It also exploded when there was a powerful friction. Therefore, Alfred decided to make liquid gunpowder into solid. One day, Alfred found diatomite under a box. He mixed nitroglycerin with diatomite and created solid gunpowder. He struck a match to his new gunpowder, but it didn't start fire. He threw the box of gunpowder, but there was no explosion. He made a thin and long hole on a huge rock. Then. He put in gunpowder and lighted the fuse. There was a big explosion, and the rock shattered into small pieces. This was dynamite. Dynamite was safe, and it was easy to use. There wasn't any explosion. Alfred started to earn lots of money from it. He devoted his entire life to experience, and he didn't get married until 40. His house in Paris was beautiful, but it felt empty. Alfred wrote an advertisement for a maid in the newspaper. A young and pretty lady called Bertha visited him. Alfred loved her secretly, but she left him to marry another man. His brothers also managed artillery factories. His oldest brother left for Caucasus to find good timber for new guns. While he was there, he found a place where oil gushed between rocks. He told Alfred about it. Alfred, with his brothers, built an oil company. They were successful. However, Alfred was sad that dynamite was used for killing people. He became very distressed over this. One day, Bertha visited Alfred. She became a writer. She came to ask him to help the poor. Alfred wondered how to spend his money wisely. Alfred and Bertha together created the Nobel Prize. Alfred was still in pain, thinking about people who died by gunpowder. Therefore, he left a precious gift in hopes of working for world peace. The Nobel Prize is still recognized as the most honorable prize in the world.